Hello, welcome to another episode of Top 3 Tech. I'm your host, Jerry Ruiz, and today we're going to figure out how to change the RGB on your new Sapphire Nitro card. First, I want to say congratulations on your purchase. These things aren't cheap, so you got an amazing card, and it performs good, and you want it to look good as well. So let's go ahead and figure out how to match the RGB on your card to the rest of your PC components. Before I show you how to change the RGB and install the software onto your PC, let's make sure you have your GPU inserted into your PCIe slot. In this case, I have a vertical mount, so it's on a Ryzen cable. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your mounting bracket screwed onto your case, your HDMI or display cables plugged into the slot. You have your power cables plugged in. And this is optional, but highly recommended. Plug in the three pin 5 volt ARGB female to female wire into your GPU and connect it to your motherboard. That way you can go ahead and um, change the settings and have them match the color of your GPU to your PC case. So as you can see right now, it's on rainbow. My PC is on green and we want these to match. If not, you could always just uh, put a static color and a static color on your PC case and do it that way. The software that we're going to be using today is called Sapphire Tricks. You just go ahead and type in S-A-P-P-H-I-R-E-T-R-I-X-X, -X -X. oops, and then just put um, download and enter. It's going to take you to the Sapphire Tricks software. Download the Tricks 9.70, the dashboard. This is how it's going to look like. Tricks BIOS switching, let's see you go ahead and um, choose which BIOS you want to use. Hardware monitor, lets you know how your GPU is being used. Tricks boost, kind of like um, super sampling, it's in there as well. Toxic boost, if you have a toxic card. And then fan check, you can check the settings on your fans to make sure they're all doing good. Nitro glow, this is where you change the RGB. So let's go ahead and click download. And this does work with um, the previous generation cards, the 6000 series, and I believe I saw on here it said 5000 series as well. Uh, and that's just for the bio switching. So I'm not too sure about the RGB, I think it should be fine. But anyways, you click on download the tricks 9.70. On uh, my computer it goes to uh, my download folder. Alright, here we are. So it doesn't take up the full screen, I'll go ahead and set it here. But anyways, dashboard lets you uh, know how your GPU is, Navi 31, die size 306, MM2, PCI Express 16.4.0, memory, GDDR6, uh, 24 gigs, 384-bit uh, memory bus lane, nice, resizable bars enabled, lets you know the driver, adrenaline 24.2.1, shaders 6144, the raster units 182, texture units 384, BIOS version, long name, DirectX 12, UEFIS, device ID, and like uh, V bio selection, primary, secondary, but that's not what we're here for. That's you know your clock, your GPU memory clock, your GPU temperature, GPU load, GPU voltage. And like you can check hardware monitor here. If you have a second screen, put it on there. Tricks boost, this is like the super sampling pretty much. Um, for, you can do a fan check, start fan check, all your fans are healthy. And then nitro glow. So you're gonna go ahead and click on nitro glow and this is pretty much gonna let you. So after you click on Nitro Glow, right now it's on rainbow, you can do runway. It lets you change the brightness, the speed, and it just changes the different colors and it goes through a single light, single color, you can have it static, or it's not static, this changes the colors um, individually one by one, it just goes through a little process. You can change the speed of the color change delay right here. And then let's see, rainbow. That's usually what's on stock settings. Serial, which one is this? I think it uh, slowly fills up the bar with a different color. And then audio vis visualization, whatever ears audio goes with that. Custom color, you can change your own static onto there. Jeez, why is the RGB missing up? Okay. And then if you do white, it changes to like 75%, so you don't mess up the LEDs in your 
system. And then red, you know, whatever. See, I could just leave it on green static and it'll match with it. That's if I don't have the wire plugged in, the three pin. But you can go to external source and look, now it is synced up with my Armory Crate, which is my ASUS RGB software. And it lets me change it to there. Okay, and then the aura effects. Right now I have it on static. It's March, so I have it green and um, orange, just because it's the, you know, St. Patrick's Day vibes. But look, white, and remember what I said, if you have it on white, you don't want it all the way bright. So, on here I reduced it, because eventually it'll burn out your LED lights in your GPU and you don't want that. Look, strobing. This is just, um, this is my settings. So, on rainbow, but whatever whatever uh, settings you have, whatever you use to connect your RGB, this will enable you to use your third party software, and this will let you go ahead and get a nice look. But, as you can see, it's connected to my RGB. If you want to connect the RGB software, remember, connect that 3-pin 5-volt ARGB. And if you just want to go ahead and use it through um, Sapphire Tricks, and you can always just go to custom color, do a single color, and have it match that way. Look, like, that's how I have it now. Look, like single color. You just do static on your RGB, single color on here. But I have it on external source, so I can control it with my other settings. And I hope this helps you guys. But I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Thank you for watching another video from Top 3 Entertainment. Um, I hope you hit like and subscribe. Also, I'm going to have a recommended playlist, a recommended video right here. So make sure to click that as well. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Whether it be to the Top 3 Tech, Top 3 Gaming, or the Why Not Me podcast. You guys are dope. I hope to see you guys on the next video. And of course, let's grow this thing together. Peace. Peace. Peace.